Please, I have a special appeal. I want you to subscribe to Victor Olukoju PVO YouTube channel. I am begging you. Now beg at the beg you. Now please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click on that notification bell so that you can get to know when we drop new movies. Thank you very much and God bless you. Yeah, I'm so excited to be with you today. This is Beyond Entertainment Show with PVO. And guess who is going to be our guest for today? Can you just guess? Now, let's watch this. How do I feel? So, yeah, why you, you're asking me how I'm feeling? How do you expect me to feel, Sonia? Killing a human being has never been my strong point. I just keep wishing there's a way out of this fraternity. But I'm in already. How did you feel? Feel? Yeah. About what? About killing your wife. I did not kill my wife. She was only sacrificed for the greater good. No blood, no glory. No blood. No glory. Remember when we were on campus? We, we came into politics to, to, to make a difference, to make a change, to help the masses, to serve the nation. We were innocent. We were so ready to destroy any monster that stands in the way of progress of this country. So what about now? We are now the monsters. I may be many things, but I am no monster. I do what I have to do to survive. So killing your wife, was, was it for power or for survival? I survived by standing on the grounds of power. And power comes with a cost. And the cost could be the sacrifice of the one you love the most. They don't call you the Godfather for no reason. I am the most respected and revered in this political climb of ours. I have paid my dues. Are you really ready to pay yours? To the punishment waiting for us in hell. Talk of the devil. And who's there? You are welcome back. Now you have seen him. I don't need to tell you the name again. Obvious. Right. So, the next segment, let's go and listen to our guest for today. Okay, my name is Kayo de Babalola. They call me K Babs. I'm a, I'm a gospel film actor, I'm a producer, I'm a director. And um, I'm, I'm a drama minister by and large, and, and uh, I'm a child of God. I'm married, I'm happily married by the grace of God. Um, I'm married to a beautiful lady called um, Amontoyosi. And um, we're blessed with a beautiful girl called Dawn. Thank you very much. I'm going to do it. 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 Mm. 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 Mm.
Ogorun marun ta ba oni agbo lati me do gbon me do gbon pele 25 and this is the young and today um i'm an architect i'm a designer construction consultant i have an msc in housing from university of ibada but apart from that uh, i also play badminton i'm a very good badminton player but that's just about it. Um, I'm majorly a, a drama minister and a gospel filmmaker. And then the other part is being an architect. But those are the two major things that I do. We, we have a club inside the University of Ibada where we play badminton um, every Saturday from uh, 6.30 a.m. to like 10.30 a.m. So we have the uh, people who come over and, um, and they will play. Sometimes we have a mini tournament uh, for badminton. That, that's what we do. It, it's a way of um, keeping fit and um, trying to be active. But everyone that we play together, they are, they are believers. They are believers. I don't know how that came to be. It wasn't a law like that, but um, you know, you move people of like mind. So the people, your friends will believe us, really. So that was how it came to be. Everyone that we play together with, they yeah, are believers, good children of God. And this is beyond entertainment. Yes, I still practice as an architect. I still design, I still supervise construction, I still, I still consult for, for people who want to build, I want to design so i'm still very much in the practice we are a sum total of uh, the things we do uh, i'm a creative person by virtue of being a writer and being a filmmaker i'm a creative person and uh, one of the major elements of uh, architecture is the th aesthetics you know in architecture we say uh, there are three major important things you have to pay attention to. Functionality, aesthetics and strength. And um, the aesthetic part of it is what reflects the things we do. We like colors a lot. We like a uh, combination of colors. We like beautiful designs and it kind of reflects in who we are and what we do. And this is beyond entertainment. It's interesting because this is how I explain it. I've been called several times. I've been begged several times. I've been lured several times with money and fame and popularity and all that. People will say, oh, you, you are good, you act well. Uh, come and act with circular films. I've seen, I've seen crew members who work with us and who work with circular people that will say, we told some people about you, but they really want you to come and act in one series, in one film. It's a secular film, though it's morally okay, it's inspirational, but it's not like your normal gospel film. Come and act there and all that. But um, I always tell them that I'm a drama minister first before I became a film actor. When I, when I became a drama minister, I never knew I would act in films. I never knew that someday people would say they saw me in films. No. Uh, when I became a drama minister, it was just to do stage drama. To do stage drama, to do drama tracts. I did a lot of that when we were starting drama tracts. You know, to, to stand at bus stops and do drama, to do two man drama inside buses. I never knew that it was possible to, to act in films. Not to talk of people recognizing me and say and saying the same fame. So it was a call. I was called to be a drama minister. It was a result of that call that made me to be acting in films. So I wasn't a film actor before I became a drama minister. I was a drama minister first and foremost. And so for me, acting in film is like an icing on the cake. Acting in film is like an addition for me. My primary purpose is to be a drama minister. That was what God called me into. So there is, there is no way I can act in a secular thing. It is not possible. It is not in my manual. It is not in my 
it is not in my configuration. I wouldn't even know how to do it. Because first and foremost, I was called to be a drama minister. Film acting is just a consequence of that. And so I cannot now go the other way around and not be acting in secular films. I know there are children of God in secular films, born again, talk talking, ever bound and all that. And I do not in any way blame them or um, you know castigate them for, for for many people it's a way of living it's, a, it's how they put food on the table for their families just like I do some other things also but for me it is not a possibility it will be I'll, it's, it's like taking fish out of the water if you ask me to have to circular films it is like uh, it is not my natural habitat, and therefore I will not thrive in it. And this is beyond entertainment. Our lives are not about money, or fame, or popularity, or any other thing that those things can give you. Now I'm not a millionaire. Now I'm not. A, it's not as if I have money, you know, flying left, right from my center. No. And so when I say I'm not going to hack in circular films, I'm not saying it because I have money. And so they will say, yeah, maybe it's comfortable, that's why he's saying it. Maybe if he doesn't have money, he will not mind doing it so that I can get some money. No, that's not, and, and this decision is not now. It's something that has been there before. And what it means is that, uh, you see, every man has a purpose. Every man has a reason for coming to this world. Jesus said, for this reason I was born. For this I came into the world. Every man must get to that point where you understand, for this reason I was born. For this I came into the world. John the Baptist would have um, enjoyed the popularity and the fame of being of being a minister at that time when Jesus has not even entered the picture. And they went to me and they said, are you the one we are expecting or should we keep waiting for someone else? John the Baptist was content with his position as a as a forbearer of Jesus. And he would not in any way compete with Jesus for popularity or for space. He was okay and contented with that purpose. Every man must understand their purpose. Every man must understand the reason why they came into the world. My purpose is to save lives, to win souls for the Lord through the ministry of drama. I cannot do that in a secular film. Like I said, I'm not casting it to them. But it is about purpose, it's about who you are. A camera cannot uh, be used to sweep the floor. Because that is not the purpose. The purpose of a broom is to sweep the floor. A broom cannot serve the purpose of a camera. We all have our purposes on earth. My purpose, my my the instruction I was given, uh, my configuration is to go to the world and preach the gospel through drama, to win souls for Christ through drama. And this is the only avenue that I can use to achieve that. And this is beyond entertainment. I would not say challenging that much because uh, we all know that when you're given a script to act a role, you try your best to do your due diligence, to, to research, to rehearse, and to you know plan and prepare for it adequately. But sometimes, because of the things you, you have to do on that location, some characters might be a little bit challenging. And one of those parts is uh, the part of Atonda and Atonda Odilu. And one of the reasons why it was challenging was because I had to beat the drum.
Tony, I am your debate. I am not a mean. I am a money. Ah, you're cool. You are a and it has to have meaning, and we didn't want to be mind me. We didn't want to just be moving hand because we know that people people will know if you fake it. So. We we had to, the producer had to bring someone in who is a, a professional, a very sound professional, who came and took us training on how to beat drum, and they had to concentrate on me and uh, how to speak with the drum and all that. So that's one of the most challenging roles I've uh, about to play. Another reason why it is challenging is because sometimes you have to leave your comfort zone. And this is beyond and today. And it's a, it's a traditional film, and you have to speak lots of Yoruba <laughs> proverbs and all that. So, but God's grace is sufficient for us for for every role that we have to take. Like I said, there's God's part. That is, there is a part that you have to do. Your own part is to yes, to plan, to research, and not just go on location unprepared. Then God will breathe the breath of life on it and, and bring His grace upon it. Since the time I started acting as the drama minister, I've been a drama minister for about 25 years. From that time till today, any time I'm going to step on stage to act, or any time I'm going to take a role in a film, I'm always scared. I'm always... Up until yesterday, I still, I still shot some scenes yesterday. And then uh, I was afraid. And uh, some people, my wife will be like, you've been doing this thing for how many years? There has never been a time that I will be on screen or on stage that I'm not scared. And this is beyond and today. The, the day you, you mount the stage to minister, to act, or step on set to shoot a film and you do it with so much confidence that day you start losing it. Now, the fear of failure makes me to run back to God every time. I prayed about this interview before coming because I was scared of this interview. As, um, as simple as it is, you know, I know they will ask questions you answer, but the fear of failure makes you run always to God to help you. And when God sees, and it's not something you fake, it's not something you act. God actually knows that I'm scared. So it's not because you can't lie to God now because God sees your heart, you understand. You can't tell God something and mean the other thing. I don't mean another thing. So God sees that genuine fear in me. And so he has to come in and help me. Part of God helping me is God inspiring me and instructing me where to go and what to do, how to do my research, how to rehearse, how to prepare. I, I trust God for the choice of costumes. I trust God for the way I look, what I, what I say and how I say it. I trust God for everything. It, it sounds cliche, cliche but God teaches me how to direct, and it's as simple as that. God teaches everything. People might say, well, you can learn directing, you can do this, you can. Yes, I, I do all that, but I will not shy away from saying God teaches me how to direct. So, all of these things. Now, when, when you now come to God and, and explain to God as you are, God now says, okay, look at this book. Look at this. Some things will just be falling in line. You are on Instagram and God brings something your way that will help you prepare for that role. You are reading something 
and then you translate it to the role, the next role you are acting. And so there's a place of preparation and there's a place of grace. Each of them are important. And if you, if you are humble enough, you will, you, will, you will get it. You will prepare your best as a person and you will rely on God's grace to help you. One of one, one other thing I always do is to try to see how can one character be different from the ones you've acted before. What can you bring in? Is it a mannerism? Is it a character trait? Is it the way you say some lines? Is it the way you roll your eyes? You, when you have acted so many roles, you want to ensure that each character is different. There's something, always something different. Maybe something that you say, something that you do, that will be different from the rest. But like I said, the most important thing for me, you must always have that fear. You must always have that. That fear keeps you humble. That fear keeps you grounded. That fear tells you you've not arrived. That fear tells you you still have a long way to go. Another problem I have, because now I'm confessing, another problem I have is that uh, I have never done a role that I was uh, satisfied with. I leave the set thinking you could have done it better. That wasn't good enough. You could have maybe slowed down when you talk. You could have said this, ah, you forgot. I have never gone into any role not afraid, and I've never left any role satisfied. I've always believed that it could be better than what I did. And I feel this, this helps you to keep trying to get better and to improve yourself. But the most important thing is the God factor. I will have two advices. Okay, three. Three advices for for people like me that are upcoming. First advice is that uh, what is God telling you? Each of us will stand at the judgment throne of God. Not both of us. Not all of us. Not a group of five. Not a group of two. Not even you and your wife. Each of us. E A C H. Because whatever God tells you in the secret is what He will judge you with in the public. If God gives you an instruction, you know, I always say that uh, if I ask someone, please bring me a bottle of water. And that person says, that person brings me a bottle of soft drink. And I'm like, I asked you for water. Why are you bringing me something? And brother said, well, I feel you've been working since money. You will need the soft drink. It has a little bit of sugar. It will boost your energy. I think it's better than ordinary water. If I did not spank that person, I would be hungry with that person. Because I alone knows what I needed at that time. I needed water at that time. I do not need soft drinks. If God asks you to bring something and you in your own wisdom says, because I saw someone do it that way, I feel that is the way. God, if God does not spank you, God will be angry with you. Destinies are attached to you. God has sent you to some people. And if you are not wise enough to pursue that thing that God has asked you to do, those people may perish. What has God called you to do? Please, as soon as you know what God has called you to do, run with it. Do everything within your power to achieve. People may not understand because it may be new. People might say, Kiloshe is not what we all do. It's not what we are used to. What is it doing? As long as it is God, please pursue it with every fiber of your being. Number one, that's number one. Number two, never ever at any point in your life 
feel you have arrived. The praises of men easily enters men's head. And then you feel people are calling me left and right. When I posted on Facebook, I had 600 likes. People like me. Because now, for youths now, our lives are governed by likes and comments. If you comment, if you post on Facebook and you have two comments or two likes, you feel people are not listening. If you post on Instagram and you have two likes, you say people don't like me. Our lives are governed by likes and comments. Okay, 10,000 people liked your your post, 500,000 people commented. It should never get into your head. Do you understand what it means for God to resist someone? Do you know the meaning of resistance? That God is against a proud person. God does not want the success of a proud person. God does not like a proud person. God detests a proud person. Stay humble. Stay grounded. Even if People are singing your praises. Even if it means it seems you are you are making it, you are flying. Stay grounded. It will help you to go far. And the third thing that I will say, as much as possible, as much as you can, run away from sin. As much you know, why growing up, I always tell people. I would say that for a young man, as long as you have removed sex and the love of ladies in your life, you are 50% successful. If you're a young man and uh, you have conquered the love for women and sex, you are 50% okay. The rest will come. That thing has truncated many people's destinies. As much as possible, run away from sin. If you can do those three things, I can assure you 100% you will get there. And this is beyond and today right? I'm a fairy Jesus Kima would you Kima Kiti Ni Pa Uri Re Ni Lu Hogo Ni Kimbo Soke Pe mo po ijato mo de hile mi a mo feri Jesu ki ma wojure ki ma kori ti ti ni pa uri re ni lu hogo ni ki bo usoke pe mo po ijato mo de hile mi. Yeah, I hope you have enjoyed today's episode. Yoruba people will say, Oh, who nika jeron pele no amo on fao no funi o je. You know what that means? All right. See you at the next episode as we'll be bringing in another guest. But please make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel, Victor Olukoju TVO, and click on that bell, that notification button. Thank you so much. God bless you. Beyond Entertainment Show with PVO. Modern Entertainment Beyond the applause of men We seek for something valuable and that is the soul of man, yeah. And that is the soul of man. Men and women, so that for God. And this is beyond and today. Keep watching Beyond Entertainment Show with PVO.